so the story behind uh, our pedals is that uh, we in Polar for several years we've been looking for a new solution for power measurement and we made several different kind of prototypes we we've been studying a lot and at the end we came to the conclusion that we need some help that the power measurement must be integrated somewhere on the bike and then it wasn't really planned we had some contacts with Luke and we started to talk and the guys in Luke they said well we've been also thinking about the power measurement for a while and uh, then quite quite fast we came to the conclusion that the, the best solution would be if we work together so how the, the system works the power measurement is integrated to the pedal then you have transmitters one transmitter for each pedal and from the, uh, the pedals the power in, uh, information is uh, sent to the Polar Cycling Computer. So uh, the background of Luke in uh, dynamometric pedals start, uh, started in about 2003 uh, where we took our first patent uh, in uh, dynamometric pedals. At this time the idea was not to have a, a product for the market but really to be able to measure stress uh, and to be able to design some frames, some pedals, some many components on the, on the, on the bike. And we really start this uh, study and this development about four years ago with really the target to be able to launch a product for the market. So cheapest than what we did in the past and uh, most, mo mostly destinated to a consumer and not only uh, research. So at this moment uh, the solution we have is an axle uh, on which we have some uh, gauges. Okay? We have eight gauges per axle on which we measure the stress. Okay? So the accuracy of such measurements is at this day uh, two percent, whatever. Okay, whatever the position of your foot, uh, this is the biggest challenge uh, uh, issue we have to uh, to find. And uh, up to two thousand newton. Okay, we are still tuning uh, the accuracy on on power because uh, it depends of algorithm. It depends on, depends of many things. So we are still uh, tuning this uh, this accuracy. But we can tell you that. We are very, very accurate on load measurement and whatever the position of your, of your foot. So, you have to put the, the, the axle in the right position, so perpendicular to the, to the crank set to be able to measure the efficient load. And you have such solution in each pedal. So it means that you are able to measure left and right power and left and right uh, cadence. cadence. Is it clear for the explanation, technical explanation? Okay. So, and you still have so many things uh, to improve durability, like a double leap, uh, three bearings, like we, you, we already know on uh, traditional uh, pedals. Just one specification, if you look on the pedal which is here or on our booth or here, we have a continent. Why a continent is just to be able, as I said, to put your axle in the right position, okay, and really perpendicular to the to the to the trunk, and so you have a continent to fix the pedal on the on the trunk. Yeah. So a few words about the transmitters. So as I said earlier, there's a one transmitter per pedal. And uh, so we collect the power in, uh, data from both pedals. So we can show power value from both sides. Of course we do the combination, so the total power value, but also you can see what is coming from the left and what comes to, from the right. They operate with the batteries. Use changeable. And the uh, battery lifetime is more than 400 hours of use. Water resistant, the weight is only 20 grams. And in order to calculate the power value, we need to know the crank length. So for the first time, when the, you start to use the system, you have to set the crank length. 
and its uh, system is compatible with four different kind of crank lengths, meaning 170, 172.5, 175, and 177.5. I think that covers like 98% of the road cyclists that, that are using those crank lengths. So of course, there is some some guys with some very special cranks, but 98% of the road riders they use one of those four cranks. Uh, okay, got it. And then the and then the yeah, inside. And uh, I think the, one of the biggest advantages of this system is that it's, you can easily change the system from one bike to another. Because most of the people who are using power measurement, they have also several bikes. So all what you have to do, you remove your pedals, you install the power pedal, you put the transmitter, you secure the transmitter with the, with the cable tie and you're ready to ride for a ride. So in two minutes you can install the power system to another bike. And so, as I said earlier, we are able to measure the power from uh, both sides. And it's, it's not a calculation or an estimation, but we really measure the power from uh, from both legs individually. And uh, yeah, the, of course, uh, we get also the cadence information. The cadence measurement is integrated also to the pedal axe. So all all the measurements are done in the pedal. So a few words about the benefits, and we can start with the pedal benefits. Yes, so as we told you, uh, the main benefits are accuracy, uh, uh, easy to, to put from a bike to another, to have the balance, so that's concerning the power measurement system. And you still have all the benefits uh, some of you may know on uh, loop pedals, so uh, I mean the platform. Uh, in Look, we are really focu focused on the width on the platform and not only surface area, as you can so. Uh, as you can see in such some uh, competitors and it's very easy to, to understand that if your your platform is very uh, width uh, you have a, a good stability compared to if your platform is uh, very uh, very thin okay uh, so we have the same uh, platform that we have on the Qblade carbon and Qblade carbon ti which are our highest product uh, on the market we are also very uh, light uh, because, as you may know, uh, we are one of the lightest pedals on the market, different in different categories. If you compare with uh, with the cleats, and uh, and with this pedal, the weight of the pedal will be 170 grams. Uh, so it means that the system will be just 150 grams more uh, compared to a Keoblade Carbon Ti, which is our lightest pedal uh, in the line and which is really focused on on the weight. And it's still compatible with uh, our standard uh, Kio, Kio Grip, and uh, and Kio Clit, and all the clits in our line. Okay, then we go to the uh, bike computers. So the uh, power pedals are compatible with three different polar bike computers, meaning CS500, CS600, uh, and CS600X, uh, and also. Those uh, CS600 came to the market already several years ago, but the users of uh, CS600 they can start to use the power pedals without any upgrade on the product, no software updates directly. So it's uh, directly compatible with uh, also the older bike computers. And the, of course, these, these both are the very high-end bike computers, including altimeter features. What comes to the memory capacity, the CS600 has really high memory capacity and what, especially what is interesting for the guys who are using power measurement it has the one second recording rate. Uh, both products are compatible with uh, Polar software solutions Polar Pro Trainer 5 for CS600 and Polar Personal Trainer.com for the CS500. So here's a few facts about the system. So the total weight, 448 grams. For the moment, we for the price, we give the price range from 2000 to $2,300. Uh, 
available the next spring and it will be sold by both companies Luke and Polar. Now is that in American dollars? Yes. yes. American dollars. American money. Uh, we like that one. <laughs> am I missing a period anywhere in those amounts? Like, uh, that's $2,000. 2000 Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I, I suppose most of you guys use, you know pretty well the, uh, the power measurement devices that are on the market, and if you want to make a good system, that costs money. That's a, that's a fact. Sorry? The bike computer is a separate. Yeah, it will be available in both. Uh, I mean, uh, pedal set, that the price of the pedal set plus the transmitters. The pedal will be always coming with the uh, transmitters. And it will be also available in, with uh, pedals and cycling computer. So, pedal cycle computer, how much is the whole thing? So pedals, transmitters, something like that. Yeah, so the CS500 retail price is 339. Uh, so two, two five. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can count two, two five for the total system. Can we get a copy of the presentation? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a, a set, I think. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Any more questions? I have a question about calibrating the. You have, you're using uh, piezo crystals in the pedal, in the crank. You're using piezoelectric crystals. No, yeah. No, no, it's, 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 uh, oh, okay. It's, it's gauges. It, it's gauges, in fact. Uh, so it measures the stress on the on the axle, and the cali the system is uh, directly calibrating when you start when you go on uh, you put on the system. It doesn't depend, uh, if it's your question, it doesn't depend on the temperature uh, because in fact we are doing a calculation between f uh, one side and the other side. So in fact the temperature is evolving in the same way for all the gauges, so it doesn't depend on the temperature. Is this a new technology? No, it's just the technical solution which, is, uh, which, is, which, are, which we have found is like that. Okay? No, so as as I, in fact, if you look at this uh, at this solution, we have gauges, gauges on the top, and gauges on the on the bottom. Okay, so and we make the difference between these two uh, measurements. So it means that uh, by doing that, we have no impact of the temperature, because all the gauges are evolving in the same way. So the calibration is done each time you turn on the, uh, the sensors for the pedals, it, it, it uh, does the offset calibration. Only thing you have to make care that when you do the calibration that you don't put any load. So before you put your feet on the pedal, you turn on the pedals and you're ready for, uh, for ride. So the, the PC tool is the Polar Pro Trainer 5 software, and of course we will. Uh, you can from our software you can download them for, for the solutions like Training Peaks, for example. We we full, want to fully cooperate with uh, with them for sure. Okay, so, so there are no there are no adjustments to keep this accurate like a Yeah, it remains constant, except if you have, of course, uh, some impact or something like that, then we will have some, uh, uh, some place to check, of course. But uh, there is no reason, yes, to, to check the accuracy uh, uh, sometimes.